Hi, everybody. Welcome to Attack with Larry C. I'm your host, Larry Christensen. And before we get started here from two excellent attacking games from the European Individual Championships, I was going to mention that uh, starting in June, we'll be devoting full months to specific themes of attacking chess. I think in June, we're going to be starting with one of my favorite subjects, demolishing the enemy king position. That's a good way to start it. So... For several months, we're going to just devote June, July, August, maybe September, and beyond. We're going to be devoting our episodes to specific attacking themes. And uh, the first one will be demolishing the enemy king position. You know, the various ways to do it, techniques, sacrifices, themes, that, that'll be the main subject. So I look forward to sharing some original material for those upcoming shows. And those are, we're going to be, it'll be pretty much devoted to middle class chess players, but uh, there'll be some advanced tactics as well. I've seen some really good stuff lately, and I look forward to sharing it with you. Okay, so here, speaking of good stuff, this is a nice little attacking game from the recently concluded European Individual Championship. Always a great tournament to follow for any serious students of the game. This tournament was played in Giacova, Kosovo. And, of course, the leader, the winner with a phenomenal score, Russian GM Ernesto Inarkiev, followed closely by Latvian GM Igor Kovalenko. And many other noted figures are in this list, including Spain's España's a uh, fine attacking player, master, Maestro de uh, uh, Attack, Francisco Vallejo Pons. But uh, before we get to his ma little well, minor masterpiece, we'll go to this game between Russian GM Dubov White, his opponent, Croatian GM Antti Berkic Black. Here we go. Okay, it starts innocently enough. Queen side game, and we get uh, this is of course well known, and we get the popular Ragozin variation. And Black kicks the the bishop. Most people prefer this relatively quiet bishop takes f6, but the combative de both plays bishop h4, maintaining the pin. And Black, by the way, can also consider taking. That's a very viable option. But uh, he elects to go to break the pin at the cost of weakening his king position with g5. Okay, white protects his uh, d4 pawn. Now black has uh, h5 available. The, many people have thought, well, this is white. This is white is inviting the uh, serious damage to his structure by playing this in this fashion. But as it turns out, the structural defects are outweighed by the exposure of Black's king. Where is where is Black going to locate his king in the near and well middle future? So, Dubois play, willingly plays h3. He entered into this line, uh, no doubt about it, uh, fully ready to accept this damage. And black takes. Now this was uh, a bit of a surprise. He could just go ahead and take right away. And he has several options. Pawn takes pawn. There's c5. I think this is a little bit too Mr. Nice Guy taking so soon. So this might be a small mistake. And he relieves the tension. Of course he has to take that bishop on g3 uh, before he can retreat it. And now black develops. He 